Hi everybody! I am super duper excited to uh, share some awesome things with you right now. I recently started taking Plexus and I love it and I'm super excited about it. Uh, Plexus loves to educate their people, which I appreciate so much. I love to know all the nitty gritty details. I love to know what the ingredients are and how they work and and just all the details. And Plexus gives that to people, which I love. Um, one of the th things that I learned with Plexus is that 60% of our population have a uh, the MTHFR gene mutation. And that means that you're taking a supplement um, and for example, folic acid, if you have the MTHFR gene mutation, then you cannot process it very well, if at all. So I wanted to dig deeper. I wanted to learn more about this. Their multivitamin X Factor Plus, it has methylated folate in it, not folic acid. I'm going to talk a lot about um, the MTHFR gene mutation and uh, everything I'm gonna tell you about, I found at mthfr.net. So if anybody wants to look that up, you can definitely look that up yourself. Um, if you pull that page up, the very first thing that pops up is this like hour and a half long video. This video is of Dr. Ben Lynch uh, giving a lecture to other doctors about uh, the MTHFR gene and methylation. Uh, MTHFR is a gene mutation. Genes make enzymes. The MTHFR gene makes the enzyme L5-methylfolate and that regulates methylation in our body, which is very important. So this enzyme, methyl, uh, methylfolate, L5-methylfolate, um, right there you know it has folate in it. That's why when we talk so much about folic acid and folate, um, that's why it's so important because of the L5-methylfolate. You have to have folate in order for you to have this enzyme, <laughs> um, which regulates methylation. So let's talk a little bit about methylation and why it's important. I'm gonna get into a little bit of chemistry here. Uh, so you have a carbon and carbons have four spots around it. If three of the spots are filled up with hydrogens, then it desperately wants that fourth spot to be filled up. And when that fourth spot is filled up with something, then that's methylation. That, it, that methylates whatever is connecting to it. So if the carbon and hydrogens uh, connect with folate, that becomes methylfolate. But our bodies methylate so much more than just that. Uh, our bodies methylate enzymes, uh, vitamins, hormones, minerals. It is a bit, it plays a big part in detoxification of our bodies. Methylation produces things and eliminates things. Um, it breaks things down. 85% of methylation occurs in the liver, but it all also occurs in every cell in our body. Um, we have more than one billion methylation reactions occurring each second in our body. That's mind-bogglingly important. This is such an important chemical reaction in our bodies. We need this to function properly. If you have methylation dysfunction because you have the MTHFR gene mutation or through environmental factors you can acquire methylation dysfunction which just means you can't methylate things very well and you take folic acid then your body has to methylate the folic acid before you can even use it. And so if your body can't methylate it, then it can't use it, and then it just stays around in your body and it actually becomes toxic to your body. 
and then you have to methylate it to break it down and get rid of it. Dr. Ben Lynch, he suggests we just stop taking folic acid. Uh, I have a few direct quotes from him. I wrote them down word for word. He said, I really think folic acid should go because folic acid supplementation, while research says that it reduces homocysteine in the blood, it doesn't lower it inside the cell. And it also reduces the ability of folate binding proteins to bind to the good folate, which is methylfolate, and also reduces the ability for methylfolate to bind to receptors. I is your mind blown yet? Because my mind was blown when I heard him say this. Here's one more quote that he said. Um, and this is specific. A, a lot of women are concerned about folic acid. Um, haven't we all been told, take folic acid, take folic acid. If you're thinking about getting pregnant, if you are pregnant, if you're breastfeeding, you need to take folic acid for your babies, right? Um, I know I heard that. Here's what he says. This is a, a scenario that he gives. So here's a breastfeeding woman taking folic acid. There's a high, high amount of folate binding proteins found in breast milk, naturally. Why? To take the folate from the mother and carry it through the breast milk to the nursing infant. The nursing infant is getting nothing or very little folate because that folate binding protein is stuck there with folic acid, not methylfolate. So he talks about neural tube defects, spinal bifida, encephaly. He says neural tube defects are not a folic acid deficiency. Um, obviously, if you are deficient in folate, then that's gonna cause problems. You can't be deficient in folate. But he said it's a methylation issue. And so there's folic acid and there's folate. Folate is the B vitamin. It's the natural form that our bodies can assimilate and use. Folic acid is a man-made synthetic uh, version of folate. He says folic acid was not found on this planet until we made it. The number one gene associated with neural tube defects is MTHFR. So you're probably asking yourself, what does this mean? How does methylation dysfunction present itself in our lives? Well, here are some implications of methylation dysfunction. People can get migraines, miscarriages, have neural tube defects in babies such as spinal bifida or encephaly, Parkinson's, pneumonia, renal failure, which is referring to kidneys, your kidneys, rheumatoid arthritis, schizophrenia, seizures, sleep disorders, and thyroid disorders. And again, I'm not naming all of the, the implications of methylation dysfunction. That's just some of them. Now we get to the good part. After learning about all this methylation dysfunction, is there anything we can do about it? Is there anything, any way we can make things better? Dr. Lynch gives six specific things to do. The first one, actually, this is not on his list, but he says over and over again, stop taking folic acid and take methylfolate if you want a folate supplement. So the first thing on his list is reduce stress. Uh, kind of the funny thing about this list is he tells us what we should be doing, but he doesn't really tell us how to do it. He just says, this is what you should do. I don't know how, but just do it. <laughs> um, so one is reduce stress. A lot easier said than done, huh? Number two, eliminate blockages. And I already talked about one of them with the folate, uh, folic acid. If you're taking folic acid, then it can actually block the receptors so that the methylfolate can't bind to the receptors. So eliminate the folic acid, eliminate that blockage. Um, and he also gives another example. I'm sure there are 
a lot of other ones, but here's another example. Apparently a lot of people in the United States have high arsenic levels. That's a really bad thing. Um, arsenic binds to adenosine, and so adenosine cannot bind to phosphate. You know what that means? Our ATP levels go down, we get really tired, and um, you, you can't methylate things in your body as well. And uh, yeah, I, that was crazy, I didn't know about that. Um, so eliminate blockages. <clears throat> Number three is resupply nutrients. Uh, when I was watching this video, his video, his lecture, I got a little bit overwhelmed because, because you can't talk about one thing in the body without talking about like 10 other things because everything in the body is connected and they work together. And if one thing is off, then it kind of throws everything off. So if you're deficient in any number of nutrients, vitamins or minerals, then that can disrupt a whole chain of um, chemical processes in our, our body. So resupply nutrients. He specifically mentions magnesium as a very, very important nutrient that we need. It is essential for hundreds of, of things in our bodies. And most people in the United States are deficient in magnesium. So that was three. Four, he says, this is him. This is really funny to me. All of these things, very humorous. Talk about it later. Number four, get rid of candida. If you don't know what candida is, it's a yeast overgrowth in the intestines. So you know how we have good fauna and flora and bad fauna and flora. That's okay. We can have bad, bad things in our gut. That's okay. But you want like a balance of about 80% good, 20% bad. Most of us have it flipped where we have 80% bad, 20% good. And um, so getting rid of candida is crucial to gut health. Number five, <clears throat> get rid of inflammation. This is Dr. Lynch. Woo, get rid of inflammation. How many people have inflammation? Like, whoa, so many people. Autoimmune disease right here, inflammation. And the final thing he says, take a vacation. The reason why this list is incredible to me and really funny is because these are the things that Plexus promotes. They, uh, their goals, they have three goals in Plexus. Balancing blood sugar, lowering inflammation, and healing the gut. Those are the three main goals. Um, <clears throat> so, <laughs> everything in, in Plexus aligns perfectly with what Dr. Lynch is suggesting us to do. And Plexus gives us a practical way of doing it. Um, I wanna talk about some of their products and how um, they help us to do these things. <clears throat> this is Plexus Slim. The main thing that this does is balance blood sugar. And remember, if you remember the first thing on Dr. Lynch's list is reduce stress. Well, if your blood sugar is all wonky, then your adrenals are working overtime, producing a lot of cortisol, which is our stress hormone, and you have to methylate cortisol in order to eliminate it. If you balance your blood sugar, you are helping your body to physio physiologically reduce stress. Obviously, there's a psychological aspect of stress, but there's also a physical aspect of stress. This is helping our body reduce stress. Resupply nutrients. X Factor Plus. This is the multivitamin Plexus has. This has the methylfolate in it and um, some other really cool things that I won't mention here. Um, I'll talk about them later sometime. Really amazing things. BioCleanse. This is basically a magnesium supplement. It's amazing. Really, really amazing thing. Ease. 
This has four ingredients in it, and they're all natural, and it is specifically targeted to lower inflammation. Um, I actually had a Crohn's flare-up like three days ago, and I took Ease during my flare-up. And I don't think I've ever recovered from a flare-up as quickly as I have while I was taking this. I was like, what? I'm feeling better already? This is amazing. <laughs> uh, so, inflammation. He says get rid of inflammation. This is inflammation. And then this one, I want to talk about this one, ProBio5. This is a probiotic that has an enzyme that kills candida. Get rid of candida, lower inflammation, resupply nutrients and eliminate blockages, and reduce stress. Throw in a vacation and you're golden, right? I love how Plexus takes things that might not be so tangible and translates them into actual things that we can do to heal our bodies. It's incredible to me. All of uh, my research in just into this MTHFR gene mutation has validated for me all of Plexus's products so much. And um, I'm so grateful that I found it. And I hope that uh, I have shared some useful things for you. I hope you have a great day. Bye.